The Quebec Professional Association of Real Estate Brokers has just released its residential real estate market statistics for Montreal in the month of February 2023. In today's video, we're going to discuss exactly what those statistics are and what they mean. But first, let's roll the intro. Hi everyone, Josh here. And before we start, I just want to remind you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so that I can continue to make more content like this in the future. During the past couple of days, the most recent sales statistics for the month of February, 2023 in Montreal were released and here's what was found. To begin with, it was noted that sales actually dropped by 32% compared to the same period last year. The number of Montreal residential sales, well, that number was noted at 2,996 for the month of February, 2023. In fact, this recent drop brought sales down to an all time low for the month of February. However, surprisingly enough, according to the report, even with the low sales and the sharp rise in the number of properties that have not yet found a buyer, most properties in Montreal and its surrounding areas are still selling at the listed price or even slightly above. Even though sales have slowed, homes are staying on the market longer and conditions no longer only favor sellers, the price correction appears to be pausing for the moment. Stable pricing is particularly noticed in condos and single family homes. However, for plexus, there still seems to be room for negotiation given the challenges associated with renovation costs and profitability. The recent sales slowdowns in the month of February were observed in all property categories with income property sales falling by 52% compared to the same period last year. Condos saw a 33% decrease and single family homes had the smallest decrease with a decline of 26% compared to sales at the same time last year. In terms of the average selling times, all property categories saw an increase compared to the same time last year, meaning properties are staying on the market for longer periods of time. The average selling time for small income properties was 82 days, which is 27 days longer than the same period a year ago. Condos and single family homes had an average selling time of 60 days and 58 days respectively. This would mean 19 days more for condos and 26 more days for single family homes. When it comes to the median prices, they also saw a decline compared to February 2022 prices. The median price for small income properties dropped by 8% with a median price of $710,000. The median price for single family homes was $515,000, which is down 6% and condos had a median price of $380,000 representing a decrease of 4%. When comparing the median prices to just a month before in January, 2023, all median prices showed an increase. Condos and single family homes recorded a price growth of 3% month over month and plexes marked a 5% median price growth. So what is my opinion on the future of the real estate market in Montreal over this next year? Well, based on the recent sales data and keeping in mind that interest rates are expected to remain relatively stable over the next year, I would expect the Montreal market to do just that remain stable over the next year. I am forecasting a balanced market as of now where sellers will still be able to receive near asking price for their homes and buyers will have the luxury of viewing more properties and negotiating favorable terms. As I've been working in the market over the past couple of months, I would definitely agree that homes are still selling near their asking price or even above in some cases. It seems the desirability for serious buyers has not yet dissipated and we still continue to see buyers making strong offers on properties. With the market sentiment I'm experiencing right now, I even think there is a possibility that prices will show a slight increase by year end. If you've made it this far, I want you to let me know below in the comments what you think will happen to the Montreal real estate market in the spring and over the next year. Drop a comment below and let me know. If ever you're looking to purchase a property in Montreal or its surrounding areas and have any questions for me, send me a message or an email and I'll be happy to help. You can find my contact information in the drop down menu below. That does it for this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the bell notifications for more content like this. And I'll catch you next time.